we kind of touched on this earlier, but um, there is a lot of there are a lot of misconceptions and uh, and a lot of kind of lack of call it education. Um, and we've done actually we recently uh, done a study about this. So we went out and and you know with with a third party interviewed a very large sample of um, of consumers in in the U.S. And uh, we learned that just people really completely don't understand uh, what autonomous driving means, what, what does ADAS mean, what are the different levels, and, and, and what their car, the cars that they're actually using, what their capabilities are. And, uh, and, and it's not surprising that uh, you see so many accidents in different level two systems with different level two systems. And I, and I think it's not those people's fault. I mean, I think, uh, the, the OEMs, the car makers need to do a, a much better job explaining uh, what, you know, what their systems are doing, how to use them, and, and, and to begin with, not to mislead people. I think that's, you know, uh, that's it's much, even much worse than not educating people on what the capabilities are, is to give them a sense that those capabilities are much uh, bigger than what, what they actually are. I think that's, that's the, the biggest problem, and I think eventually is going to backfire. So um, we've already started seeing some investigations that, that kind of came from that. And um, I, I think that eventually this, instead of um, advancing the deployment of, of level two to level four systems, uh, this will actually slow uh, the deployment because um, it, it will just call for you know, more regulation, more legislation uh when like i think if, if all the players and, and we try to be responsible about this and we urge the other suppliers and the oems to to be responsible about this um and i think if if, if we're all more responsible then i think um it will save lives uh and, and it will also eventually also advance kind of the fast deployment